Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share one of the newest Cricut Design Space updates, which is the background remover. So I am going to go over to my uploads and grab an image just from my downloads folder. I'm going to select complex and hit continue. Here's a picture of me and my son. And let's say for this image, I want to use it for print and cut, but I don't want all of this background. I want the picture just of the two of us. Then I'm gonna wanna go in and erase that. Here's what the screen looks like over here. So it'll look different now. And Cricut has made this automatic background remover, which is really awesome. The only thing with this is that it is for Cricut Access members only, this specific button. But I think there's been a little bit of confusion. I've seen somebody say that they're upset because they can't erase the background anymore since they don't have Cricut Access. But you'll actually do it the same way as before. If you don't have Cricut Access, the buttons are just in different spots. So I'll show you that here in a second. But if you do have Cricut Access, I am going to show you how this automatic tool works. What you'll do is just select Remove Background. Okay, and it gets rid of most of it. I've played around with this quite a bit, and sometimes it'll get rid of almost all of it, but sometimes it'll leave a little bit like this. It's not completely perfect. So to get rid of this, what I'm gonna do is zoom in. And actually, first of all, you can see it took away part of my son's head, and I actually want that. So what I'm gonna go to is this restore button. I'm going to click on it, and I'm just gonna go back over this right here, this part. Then I'm gonna come down here and it took away part of his arm. So I'm gonna add that back in. And actually I'm gonna hit undo because I got a little bit extra or more than I wanted. And it kept in some of this, so I'm going to go to erase and go in and delete this. So like I said, it's going to be different for every picture. One of my pictures, it erased pretty much everything, but this one, it kept a little bit on there still. So I just have to go in and manually do it. This is the hardest part is going along the edge like this. But you can adjust the eraser size here. You can make it bigger or smaller, and you can also zoom in, which is really nice too. So you can get a little bit closer. I sped that part up just a little bit while I was touching it up, but for the most part, this automatic tool erases most of the background, which is awesome. And what I found is the pieces that you have to fix, it's not that much, so it doesn't take that much time. I am gonna save this. Let me bring this into Cricut Design Space really quickly so you can see what it looks like in here. And that's what it looks like. So it is pretty cool and I can use this for a print and cut type of image. So if I go back to upload and grab that picture again, if you don't have Cricut Access, you'll still see this button and if you click on it, it'll have like a Cricut logo over it, but you can still use the same tools to erase the background. So what you can do is go up to this crop button here, and this is what I like to do. It gets rid of a lot of the background here. So what you can do is just go over it like this and get rid of a lot of that background. So that helps a little bit. And then you can go back over and grab the eraser tool. I like the eraser tool better because if you hit the select tool, it's gonna get rid of little pieces at a time. So I like using the eraser tool better. And what you'll do is just go in and erase the whole thing. This It's difficult to do this because you have to go along the outline of yourself, of the person that's in the picture. And it's hard to get that just right. But this is how you would do it without that background remover tool. So you would go in and then you'd have to zoom in again and get 
make the eraser size smaller and just kind of go along the edges there. So this new automatic background tool is definitely faster. You don't have to go in and do all of that, but you can still erase the background if you don't have that. I'm going to show one more example. I'm going to grab this little mermaid image. I've actually used this image showing how to layer adhesive vinyl for another video of mine. So if it looks familiar, it's from that. But I just want to show how this tool is helpful for these type of images as well. So if I go over to remove background, it's going to remove everything inside the lines as well. And like I said, it's not perfect because if you see the nose, let me hit revert. You can see there's a solid line there and if I hit remove background it gets rid of most more of it so what you can do to easily fix that is click on restore and I'm just gonna go over the nose here a little bit to bring it back then I will just grab my select tool and just select the white piece and that just brings that back it also looks like her hand a little bit of the hair uh, it took a little bit of that away. So what I'm going to do again is go back to restore, grab that, this here, and then I'll do the hand a little bit. Then I'll just go back to my select tool and select on all of these to make sure that it gets rid of the white pieces. Even though I had to go back in and fix a couple of things, it is still much faster. If I hit preview cut image, that's what the image would look like. If I go back to revert and if I do it just the manual way, what you would have to do is just click in and select all of these pieces. So this automatic tool is definitely faster. Also, if you go down to more options, you still have these reduced colors and color tolerance options as well. I think that is it for the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below in the comment box and I will try to get back to you. I would also love it if you are new to my channel here to subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I hope you all have a great day.